I, I'm here today with uh, the one and only Mr. Corkery. So, Mr. Corkery, tell us, this is your um, last time that you'll be here with um, to see the swimming sports. How do you feel? Oh, I feel a little bit um, nostalgic. I can think back to all of the swimming sports we've had here. Some of them we swam the whole length of this pool. I don't know how long it is we've been only going half the length, but so all the standards have fallen away over the years. But 18 and a half years I've been coming here, and I remember a whole lot of people and a whole lot of different events and some outstanding swimmers. So, yeah, I feel a little bit sad that this is my last time. Maybe it won't be my last time. Maybe I'll come back next time. Will you miss it? Very much. Yeah. Very much. It's, it's a nice day, isn't it? It breaks up the term, makes us all feel good. It's nice and warm, always warm in here. It's always hot. And every day, I think, next year, I must go on the relay. So, so what are your plans for now that you're leaving um, John McGlashan? What are your plans for after? Um, my plans are to look for other opportunities. I could stay in this job until I got old and passed it. I still hope I've got a few years of work in me, maybe in different fields, maybe outside of education, maybe still in education. I'm going to live in Wanaka. Well, I should say I'm going to keep my stuff in Wanaka. I've got a house up there and it's a really nice place to live. Yep. But, you know, if work comes up in Wellington or Auckland or Dunedin, we'll go and, we'll go and live there, maybe even overseas. I'm keen to do some other things before I die. So, looking back at um, your time in McGlashan, yep. what would you say your most memorable moment was? Oh, it's, it depends on the category of, uh, that you put on the word memorable. I've said funny times, I've had sad times, we've had um, uh, really uplifting times, we've had really successful times, we've had disappointing times. I don't know how I would say what was the most memorable. I'm really proud of what you guys achieve, but I'm, I think more than anything else, I'm proud, of, and I'm proud of the buildings, I'm proud of all of those things, but more than anything else, I'm proud of the atmosphere and the tone and the relationships that, uh, that characterise this school. It's got uh, friendly people, decent blokes, just a good place to be. Don't you agree? Yes, I, I would certainly agree with that. Yes, yes it is indeed. Yes. So before we end this interview, um, do you have a personal message for the boys? Before you leave? Oh, it's just the same old message that I gave you when you started here in, uh, what, in year seven so many years ago. And it's just get stuck in. Give everything a go. Take all those opportunities. Make the best of it. Right. What else can we do? Look after each other. Keep positive. Make friends. Remember that friendships are the most important thing of all. Look after each other. Okay? Right. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks.